Hello and welcome to the weekend edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. We have a great show lined up for you. Our guest for tonight is, is widely known as the real OG. He has been awarded by Afima Awards as uh, the best rapper in Africa. That was last year, 2018. He's one of the most experienced musicians. Alianza Mziki Uko 1960. <laughs> he's the story he's the story of Kayole to the world a classic case of started from the bottom I'm starting from the bottom to the top and most importantly <laughs> yes also his single-handedly made a Beyonce out of Super S Mr. International aka one Calligraph Jones is in the house yeah. thank you thank you thank you Asante ni sana. Asante ni sana. Uh, before we get to that part of the show, there are a few things uh, here and there we cannot just pretend have not happened this week. First, a bunch of traders were arrested with 800 kilograms of zebra meat at the Bama market this past Friday. Get this. Most of the butcheries in Nairobi get their meat supply from this market. So this could mean that millions of, the millions of Nairobians you see walking around may have some zebra in them. <laughs> now, 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 so many things make sense after getting this story. This explains why Nairobi watu fukia barabara kila mahali. Mbaka chini ya flyover. And the big question, the big question has always been, why would people risk their lives like that? Kumbe, it's not them. It's the zebra crossing. Now, the story is... Yes, for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The story is, uh, these people sell zebra meat to Kenyans as beef. As in what water on a zebra, wakifikiria ni ngombe. That's not news though. In Kenya, anything can pass for a cow. Ujaika kwa matatu ukasikia mtu wakikomplain, hona hii ngombe inatumia simu. Na ajafuga dirisha. Mtu wa matatu wakiona gari ndogo inaovala, po usema nini? Sasa ngombe inaenda wapi na siyo wapila. Now, after this story, I believe it's safe to say that Akuna Mnyama wa Kenya hawajakula. Cats are not safe. What do we call fish? No animal is safe in Kenya, even warthogs. Unless you just come to a complain that Makanga me kula ngiriyake. Yes. No animal. No animal is safe in this country. Munafikiri ambona wanyama ucheza nje. In other news, in other news, an Indonesian couple, Indonesian couple is in the headlines after they named their child Google. The adorable baby goes down the history books as the first Google that doesn't know anything. <laughs> the dad claims, the dad claims that he chose the name hoping that the child will be useful like the website. But come to think of it, how will the child introduce himself in future without sounding rude? Well, young man, what is your name? Google. <laughs> now the dad says the dad says he was considering naming him Windows, iPhone, or iOS. It's not far fetched though. It's not far fetched. In fact, I can't wait for Kenyans to follow the trend uh, to have children with names inspired by technology. Hey Buddha, mazi kuna watu wengi na unajua kuchoma man. Umeski yu recording imelik. Mazi true caller this time round ame chomea mkopo halisi. Buddha. <laughs> Also, following the arrest of a, <laughs> following the arrest of Astare MP Honorable Jagua, one of the leaders who came to his defense is Majority Leader Aden Duale. We protect individual Kenyans and their businesses. You guys, what you are eating, members of what you are eating is oranges from Tanzania. You are eating even cabbage from Tanzania. You are eating fish from 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 China. We are eating eggs from South Africa. We must, as a house, in fact, decide and bring legislation to protect our businesses, our small, medium businesses. And I can tell you for free, I can tell you for free, you might condemn Jaguar. Jaguar tonight, today, is the most popular member of parliament in its constituency. My favorite bit has to be where Duale is talking about members of parliament eating oranges from Tanzania na nyuma yake ndio kuna ichungwa. But that's, that's besides the point. That's besides the point, Kabisa. If the concerns that Honorable Dwali raised in Parliament are true, that most, care, most of what we eat in Kenya comes from out of the country, then that would explain so many things. If truly we get fish from China, then maybe that's why the big fish in Kenya never get caught. 
<laughs> yes, and this debate is very is a tricky one, however, because according to an article uh, that ran in the East African in December last year, Kenya remained uh, the largest exporter, the largest exporter under the African Growth and Opportunity Act, Ioni Agoa, in East Africa. This means that if the other countries that we export to started the line of conversation that some of our leaders have taken, what would that mean to our country? As that sinks in, let's get to hear this testimony from a, a Kenyan's first-hand experience. Ya kudungo ile sindano ya mchungaji. Hapa kwetu, tunakubalia fungu lorote. Na diyo maana kuna watu wamekucha, wametuletea fungu ratano. Mwujo tunisaidie kuwa shukuru watu wawa. Ife <laughs> Now, the biggest, uh, one of the biggest stories this week has to be uh, the number of people that showed up for an interview at Eka Hotel to try their luck on f the five job vacancies that were advertised. In case you missed it, in case you missed it, here's the video. As you watch on the you remember kuna five positions. The job. Now, uh, just to get an idea of how hard it is for any one of those fellow Kenyans to get a chance in any of the five advertised slots, imagine it's easier for Andrew Kibe to be ordained as the new head of the National Council of Churches of Kenya. <laughs> and yes, I know some of you are asking, who is Andrew Kibe? Thank God you don't know him. Now, uh, <laughs> every one of those people, of these people here, are there, and they know that there are only five positions advertised. But still, they are holding on to the hope of getting one. This is the situation across the country right now. The subject of our show tonight, however, is not about the state of joblessness. It's about the success stories of people who have pursued alternative means and made it. This comes in the wake of the government admitting that they have not created the 840,000 jobs as they earlier claimed. This must be after they saw the 840,000 people showing up at Eka Hotel <laughs> looking for a job. And Kenya is currently divided on the true definition of a hustler. Some people feel like a true hustler, ni ule mse ukujatao jioni, anatengeneza duka yake kando ya barabara, akisikia kanjo, anahepa na duka yake yote. <laughs> a hustler could be that hoka. Ule hoka that an, anapanda gari Nairobi akiuza biscuits, anenda kushukia muoroni. Ndiya kueanga, ameuza angalau miambili, anashuka na pandagari na mianani, anarudi Nairobi. <laughs> I don't know how, but somehow they always make ends meet. Hapo kwa hukas wa magari, by the way, shout out to this gentleman who has to be one of the best in that line of work. Nemetumu wa salamu na Baluzi Amina Mohamed. Tukuwa na ye giana? Kesha na ye. Mahali kuna hitu wa Philadelphia. Philadelphia hiko na hivu itali. Mwana cha kushika. Atenda Cambridge. <laughs> My favorite beat ya yo clip uneza itafuta kwa internet, iko kwa page yangu, ni mali ya nasema raba iko na tracker. I could have used that back in the day. And, but on the point of uh, tonight's show, there are very many, uh, very many income generating activities can qualify in the category of a hassle. Kuna mtu ukula chuma ndi aliperent. Fake passengers is an actual job. Ineitwa kupiga seti. 
as in kuna mtu amka kila siku anaingia tao kazi yake ni kuingia kwa mat anajifanya anaenda mahali ukiingia anashuka <laughs> kuna wasi uingia tao anaomba kunyeshe ndio abebe watu wanaogopa kukanyanga maji kwa mgongo yake i know what you're thinking atio ni mwanaume amepanda kwa mgongo ya mwanaume mwenzake ndio asikanyange maji we that is an employer Yo jama amebebwa ndio mdosi. Woni amekaa back left. Sitaongelea huo demu jo amepanda ndege. Wakati wakati hakuna mvua, hawa watu hufanya kazi gani? Ama hiyo ndio watu maanisha wakisema vile maisha imekauka. According to you, other than the, the deputy president, who is a hustler? Ni kazi gani una feel ina qualify kuitwa hustle? Share your responses with us on hashtag the wicked edition. My handles are Dr. Underscore Kingori on Twitter and Instagram, Dr. Kingori on Facebook, that's Dr. Kingori. I'd really love to hear your take on this. There are very many success stories uh, of Kenyans who followed alternative paths to, to earn a living. In 2018, Kenyans were ranked as the third most hardworking immigrants in the US. One of the alternative uh, major sources of income is the art industry, entertainment. Our guest tonight is one of the success stories in that field. So we extend this conversation to the second part of the show with our guest for tonight, Calligraph Jones, to break this down even further. See you guys in a bit. Welcome back to the Wicked Edition. I'm Dr. Kingori. The subject on our show leo ni success stories from alternative ways za kumekido na income generating activities, alternative. Now our guest for tonight ni the real OG, Calligraph Jones. Karibu sana. Shukran, shukran sana. Eh, maze long time, but finally to make get one. Ndio hiyo mimi. Eh yeah, finally. Mm. Sasa in, in line na uh, subject ya show yetu ya leo, mm. I think question rahisi sana kuanza nayo ama kama ni kupiga story ni mm. kama ungekuwa unafanya muziki sasa you've done well for yourself ungekuwa unafanya nini? Ungekuwa unafanya muziki. Aya na uko, uko na yes that's a solid answer but mm. uko na story poa sana ya mm. uh, ngoma ulidu ya ku combat crime mm. especially coming from Kayole na ume represent Kayole fit sana. Yeah. Na uko na body poor sana ya ngeta. Yeah. <laughs> how, how did you end up choosing a different path uka choose kukuwa upright na compared to maboys wa mtani when you opt for otherwise? Um, first of all, thank you for having me here. Ladies Kali and gentlemen, Calligraph Jones is my name in case you don't know. Na uneza nita OG. Now back to your question. Well, from the beginning ever since ni kwe mtuoi, nilikuwa tu na passion ya mziki. hata kama venye nilikuwa kayole wale wasio tukofenda nao chuo wengine walimadwa wengine walikuwa na, unajua tu stuff like that but mimi yeah. passion yangu ilikuwa kwa mziki. so all through focus yangu ilikuwa ni music yeah, and wanting to make it uh, or rather how do i put this man just getting out of the ghetto you know so hiyo ndio ilikuwa tu ni ambition yangu so i think pia ile the way i was raised fortunately my moms my dad my family walikuwa it was a i'd say a good circle uh, nice people to have when you're growing up because they show you proper directions to take with your life so i think hizo zilichangia for me to be the the artist that i am right now and mpaka um, mali nimefikia og og yeah that is very smooth Mm. Oh, Jimmy, oh, Jimmy, baby. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Na uja, uja, au kwa itaka kama dreams za watu wengine, yes ni mziki, but mm. ile backup ya, not nese, uh, mtu wajui kama mziki italipa, nataka kukuwa pilot, nataka kukuwa doctor. Siku wanajua mziki italipa, hakuna, hata nikiambia kina mathe, nikiambia mzai, ni aje mimi, nataka kukuwa msani. And this I picked it up from my big bro who apparently happens to be a musician as well. Yes, yes. Yendo alini inspire ni anze kufanya mziki pia. Lakini usiku anajua mziki inalipa. Mimi nilikuwa nataka kuimba tu ni kuwe kama kina Jay-Z. Ni usiku anajua mziki inakuja na do unaona. But along the way nilikuwa nafanya vitu zingine. Kama after high school or even when I was in high school nilikuwa na bounce. I was I've been a bouncer. Nimesikia mara mingi wasio wake ni enjoy at you bouncer ni mimi bounce and I will say that proudly everywhere I go. I used to bounce na hata tukienda clubs huko ma bouncer wananijua na wanijui kama calligraph wananijua kama omolo juu kwa tuna bounce now unaona so i've done all that <laughs> nimekuwa yani nimefanya ma staff yani ma zimekuwa waiter kupika chapati kwa hoteli all those are things that i've done but you know irrespective of all that 
the OG is still the OG. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. <laughs> Mimi nime umesema vitu mob sana mm. niko hapo kwa bouncer. Mm. So I believe unaweza speak kwa experience ya kukuwa bouncer mm. kabisa. Ni nini about bouncer haikuwa maybe satisfying yenye bado uko na find love for muziki na ni utamu gani ma bouncer wao upata in the words of Pastor Nganga ya yeah, hiyo mm. kupiga wasi ngoto wasi wadogo <laughs> na kukazia na kukazia wasi wasiingie na soda kwa club. First of all I think Nikonata ni if you've seen my ni here Nikona dent hapa hivi nilipatanganikiwa in my line of work as a bouncer Na you know I was doing I was bouncing and at the same time I was still doing music Na you know when I get up on the stage and I'm performing the reception from the people is crazy and now after that I have to go to work Nikienda pale nisimame kwa mlango unajua tu watu wengine wanakuja na madhara kuna watu wamebeba bouncers like I, I, I think Jini Watchmen, not a watchman of I could that I will know now. So when you were song like you know, it's it's always it's sad to some level. Una feel we buy on a to an akudara, yeah, una jua. Yeah, like in I think Mimi kufanya evil, uh Mimi ku pitya eo do ilini ilini fanya ni develop a very tough skin that I have right now. That's why, even if you try to diss me or intuse me and be an in, you know, 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 ama you dent you dent ya yeah. okay ni mm. occupational hazard yeah hasuli ya job hapo ndio ulikwitu kaenda kwa chapati ama bado ulikuwa tuko no hadu chapati nilifanya before nianze kukuwa bouncer oh ni graduate eh hey, ilikuwa inaenda ikipanda so hapo nil hapo nil msali nipigana mawe i was actually blind <laughs> sorry <laughs> yeah i was actually blind for like a good two weeks sikuwa naweza ona nai macho cuz it was in shown why ni 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 but msali tu nilipigana mawe unajua tu mbogi tu huko hivyo bado una bounce atuende body talk hapo eh mawe jamaa ta baka unashindwa hiyo gym yote ni ya nini sindo hivyo sasa aya na sasa ukiangalia situation ya uh my boys will not after job. Kama mm -hmm. yo clip to me play, five positions, wasi mathao wana kam kutafta job kama yo. Creative industry na employee wasi. Mm. Eh, ni example, mini example. But sasa, kuna wasani, si, si kila mse u succeed kwa ngoma, but kila mse yata hameka kwa hii room, na probably 90% ya wasi wana watch show mm. ni musicians. Mm. Difference yako na wao ni gani? Hakuna uh, difference, ni time tu. So hapa kila mse ya tuakuwa na makamaru wapa in future. Yeah, time. Kwa zingine ni unajua kila mtu wakona time yake. Yeah. Unajua. As long as you're gonna, there are those basic qualities that you need to possess as a, as a, as a person. BD, hizo sita ongelea, kila mtu unajua unafa kufanya BD, yes, yes, yes. unafa kukua disciplined, all those are qualities you need to possess as a human being if you want to make it in life. Lakini kama ukona hizo, then time. Time yako itafika tu. Hata mimi nilikuwa, mimi nilikuwa mnoma kurap kitambo. I remember I used to do my thing. I'd go to people and I'm like, yo, what up? My name is Kali Graf Jones. I come from Kayole. This is my music. And they look at me like, why? Kwa nini uja blow up maki na Jay-Z or nini? Unajua? Yeah. Inakuanga ni time. This thing is gradual. I can't just wake up one day and become the most uh, influential rapper in Kenya. It takes time. But you can do pole pole and you constantly be on your, you know, game, working, then mungu wata kufungulia njia. Look at me, man. I, bro. Iyo ni buduki. Yes, yes, yes. I came from nothing, bro. Mnajua, some people only started seeing me the other day after Julia Siego. And they was like, oh, umse ya metoka hapi. Umse ya nakatui came from a very good background. Uh, he had it all. At, to some extent, people thought I was saying Kayole doing it, but he street credibility. Yes, yes, yes. I didn't came from the streets, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, I was like, I was like, I was Nah, the reason why, the reason why you make a perfect guest kwa show, mm. kuna boys say, 
ako place ulikuwa ukipika chapati kayole. Mm. Mse wa chapo, ye usurvivaje. Cause mse mwingine anaweza uliza unalipaje chapo na rent. Mm. Unakumbuka hiyo hustle ilikuwa? Yeah, nakumbuka. It's not even a long time ago. That was like 2009, 10. 10 up around 2000, 2009 I was in high school. Dulu kuna maliza high school 2009. So around 2009, 10 that's when I was doing that. Na unajua ukiwa ukiona uko na unatoka place kama Kayole. Akili yako tayari iko conditioned to that environment. So hata ukikuwa unafanya kazi kwa msanii kama mse wa chapati wa kupika chapo, yes. wama nyo utajua tu kujipanga na hiyo salari unapata from that or the amount of money you're getting from that hustle, kujipanga nao kimaisha. Unaona? Yes, yes, so utajua. Yes. Wase, wase wako mtawa wanajua tu. Kuna hatu wanapika chapati na wanangu wakipika. Wanajua. Ukiwa hapo hivyo utayelewa. Tukiindikiwa explain hapo hivyo mwezi yelewa. Wanaz understand? Mm. But, juna uliza, as in, the mm. question is, kuna OG wa machapati, as in, kuna, <laughs> as in, kuna mse, kuna mse hapo kayole. Ju, one thing I believe, ni kila kitu inakuangana star wake. Yeah. Kuna mse hiu unda viatu mpaka kila mtu anatakatua peleke viatu yeah, kwa ke. Yeah, yeah. Kuna mse hiu unda gari design, mm. magari zote zime flock kwa ke zime jam. Yeah. Kuna OG wa chapati. Eh, kuna OG wa chapo. Kuna ya. Kuna place flani hapo hivyo pale kayole. Kwanza kuna mjama ali uliza atikali, tuko nangi kenda kayole. Mine nanga kayole kukushinda hata. Na una isi huko. Wajua. <laughs> <laughs> Kuna place flani pale hivi kona, ukiingia hivi, kuna, kuna itua Leba, Leba Hotel. Anybody in Kayole, walewa na chikuwa TV, ni kushua na Jodina wangelea. Kuna place flani hapo ya chapo, Buda wa sewa napika chapo ingine ujai ya Kenya hii, ama dunia hii. Yeah. Oyo <laughs> ni uji wa chapati, mesa uji neo boys, lakini wa sewa true. Uji, labda wezi kumbuka ilikuwa kitambo sana. Mm -hmm. 2012, mm. before everything, ulikuwa, nakumbuka, nikuwa studio flani ya jamani, ituwa Juni, pale Saba Saba. Juni, mm -hmm. first floor. Ulikam, mimi, hata mimi nikuwa na ngoma juu, kisikianza makila mtu mwenye. Sasa, ngoma yako ili ni depress. Ulikam, ngoma yako ikapleiwa na kumbuka, my favorite line ilikuwa, ati wasewa nasema kuna mtu waneza fit kwa shoe za isa, nilitrye nikapata hizo viatu ni less. Ah yeah yeah my favorite line. I remember that studio. Man I remember you you was a skinny ass dude. Ah lord. Wait wait you wait wait. You need compliment. Calligraph anasema nimenona. Eh mazi but yo yo to feel ya yeah. ulikuwa mm. ulikuwa na it going mm. adam ni one of the people who celebrate nikicheki yeah. uh, vitu zime change vitu yeah. zime change so you make jokes by the mm. we make fun of everybody yeah. including yeah. the president but we talk sense when sense is needed kabisa kabisa mm. alafu pia kuna kitu labda mimi na wewe tujasema mm -hmm. atusemi watu wasiende shule watu wasome yeah. but pia kwa masomo <laughs> Kwa pia kwa masomo kuna kitu moja by the my greatest take home kwa history ya Bob Kolimo wame pass. Mm. Ni Bob Kolimo, one of the stories that watu wana, inapita pita watu juju, alifika form 4, aka stick to bees. Mm. Aka mwatu ni bees. Say ako celebrated as uh, the head, vile wame pass, wame pass, akiwa head of one of the best employer, I think 67th best employer in the world. 67th best employee in the world. So wewe umekaa chini ya tu na degree hata uko na advantage kushinda mse yako na. True, true, true. Amefika form 4. So hakuna reason yote ya kuka home bila ni find something you're good at. Our message find something you're good at, stick to it consistency na discipline. Judging from vile life ina change. Mm. Wewe unafanya nini kusaidia wale wasanii una feel wako na potential? Mm ya kufika mali ulifika maybe jani yao iko yeah. shorter than yao ama you don't interfere with what god is doing in their lives you're a smart young man bro yeah. I, like you. i like you thinking man you're very creative yeah thanks maze you're only compliment mm. yes so so um the thing is you talk or two very frank in this current industry kama kuna msanii mwenye ako established na na work na upcoming artist kushinda calligraph jones ajitokeze aseme sidhani kama kuna msanii mwenye ako established amefika hii level niko na na sometimes ana go out of his way to reach out to the to the young ones huko 
wale mavijana ndio juzi tulianzisha nini nikiwa Nigeria you know what i did no. i started the debate play ke music nakumbuka ile unakumbuka ileleta vurugu sana now to some people walikuwa nafikiri tu wanataka ati ngoma za calligraphy zichezwe ati eh play ke music chezeni mimi mstaki mcheze ngoma zangu adam spoteza ngoma zangu oji ni oji mimi nataka mcheze ngoma za vijana wanangangana huko kwa mtaa unajua yeah. aondo wale tuko tunatetea mimi i have already made my money i'm successful with music and at this point mimi i'm not even when i come and um, raise such matters i'm not speaking for myself i'm trying to speak for the whole industry wala kwa nyuma yetu cuz mimi i'm in a position whereby young people approach me every day jones ni aje tunataka ku make it in music what do we have to do and that's why we started the debate tukasema bro yeah hawa tu hii ama vijana wanafaa kupatiwa chance ama vijana wako na talent oh hawa tusijui wanaimba wimbo gani sijui wanaimba zima mavela zima nini no hiyo ndo wanaimba hiyo ndio yetu tuachukue tuwa mold tuwakuze na in due time they will be good with whatever it is they're doing unaona na watakuwa yeah. vipoa that's what i was saying so back to what he was uh, was asking me kama kuna msani mwenye amesimamia nga upcoming artists hapa Kenya yeah. shinda uji ajitokeze aseme mfanya ngoma na yum super yesu unasema sema unaona tukana yum super yes by the time i was working with uh, the girl yes Yo time alikuwa na mimi kiwa a big joke the, people were yeah, calling her for yeah. interviews yes, yes, for to fun. get ratings unajua eh hey, acha yes. tukuje tumwe enjoy let's just make a fool out of the girl because she'll be here she doesn't I mean i was like no let me take this girl to fanya na ngoma nionyesha wa say by the way who dem ako na kitu to offer other than the jokes and then ni vanyo sawa mbeba tulienda tukafanya ngoma fulani inaitwa madzaronga tuko ruaka na ruai madaraka walai kahawa gidurai tuko jutu ko fly bro og buda you to find a boy to tunji after yeah. that tunji was a uh, tunji alikuwa na buzz in the underground sector but he was unknown i went out of my way and did did the song with the guy tulifanya ngoma na na anaitwa nani uh Ji already to shanokiana lenga uyo boy atamutiana when kiboko tunaweza sociana so go ahead and bust it down thotiana with masauti kiboko yeah ni kana vitu zinaitwa kalikatel anytime yes. nafanya kalikatel i introduce new people to the industry yes. what do you want to ai ah wasome oji ametoa sio wapi so me i go out of cuz i know i was there before so i try as much as i can to raise or uh, just basically elevate these young talents who come my way so hell yeah bro we out here na kuna msali uliza ati kama nishaitingwa inda eh mimi nilidunga inda for like a month i was locked there i was um, a convict i was convicted yeah nilienda court the court process nini and they for the cause of nini tukayo leo unajua tu saa zingine yani buda unajipata uko ndani buda uko jela jela ulipata msia ameunga kukushinda ama ilikuwa before before jela eh aha nilikuwa tu nauliza tu ndio nijue kama kulikuwa na unataka kwenda aa hapana si kwenda nauliza nijue tu kama kulikuwa si kuna ase lakini mbi bado nilikuwa body tu kesi kesi ilikuwa nini kesi ilikuwa ni ilikuwa ni imewekelewa ni miba nini mp3 player <laughs> Uli yakelewa umeibai mp3 player. Hiyo uh, time, hiyo time mp3 players kuna zina iPod. Sasa ilikuwa ni very Uli la inter one month juu iPod. Nilienda kwa kwanza they took me to the police station. And then mamangu, unajua mamangu ni mtu anaomba omba Mungu sasa yani. Kwa sasa wale tukiwa kwa police station, wale watu wamekuja na wanataka tumalize ile kesi pale tucheze nao chini. Okay, so now you are going to have to pay uh, this amount of money. They wanted me to pay them 10,000 bob. Your story is Ah mama ndaka sema bwana Mungu anasimama na sisi. Mimi bwana mimi mimi nasikia. Aka sema ataombea hii Mungu yeye ataombea hii mambo hii hii mambo hii ataombea hii. Eh kabla ujue Buda tuko makadara mazee kesi Buda court case. Alafu unajua court case ile siku nimeenda mara ya kwanza it's a hearing alafu anasema nini and then wanakuambia tunakupatia inaitwa bond ama zi bail whatever it is. And then wakanipatia ya 15000 ya yeah, 15000 and 40 your time 2011 2010 2011 i couldn't raise 15000 bob yani 
So nikasema wakanipatia hiyo na option ya either ni serve uh, two months or dilipe. Nilipe hiyo nini? Ah. Joji ni uji ngapiga tu huko ndani. Eh, manzi. Tukio wrap up tu mm. before tukuachilie uende, unaweza ongelesha eh, Kayole ni standard. Tusemi Kayole peke yake. Yeah, yeah, Ukiongelesha boys mwenye ako mtaani mali ulikuwa ukianza mm. eh, base ya chapo tu hata. Mm. I think base ya chapo ni standard unit. Mm. Ebu ongelesha ule boys ako kwa chapo ama boys ako mtaani mwenye na feel ame lose hope ama dem mwenye na feel ame lose hope juku na future. Mimi ni example like mm. I say na wewe ni example. Yeah. But wewe ndio guest wetu wa leo. Unaweza ambia on this camera hapa. Hey, well First of all, OG is OG. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, okay, Mimi, um, there is an album that I released, uh, I think about a year ago. It was going to a testimony in 1990. There is a lot of information about Calligraph that is not out there. And sometimes, because of how I present myself to the public, to the masses, kuna perception, flani watu na kuwa ya Calligraph. I came from nothing. I came from totally nothing. Mimi, I went to school in Kayole, uh, from primary school, high school, Nikamalizia Kayole. I never went to college or university or all that. Sijai attend is only me. And not because I didn't want to, but it's because of the circumstances of life. And unfortunately, because of unavoidable circumstances, sikuweza kunini about life yani unajua. Mimi nilikuwa na believe that music is what was going to get me where I want to get, like achieve my dream. When I started out, nilikuwa naambia watu, ni aje, mini msani, ndo hii mziki zangu nini. A lot of people, wali ni, wali, they were looking down on me, like for a lot of reasons, unajua, but I never stopped doing what I was doing. I was constantly pushing, nilikuwa na eka bidi. I come from a very prayerful background, by the way. My mom is a pastor. We pray a lot back home. <laughs> so that Nambianga was saying, Kuna time flani, I iliquena ningia sana, yani that Nkona feel the bass, Anna, when I'm trying to, um, when I'm doing my music and I'm not getting any attention. Unajua, because uh, unlike how it is right now, your time yangu, Mili ni patakama ni miracle over 1,400 songs. Don't go my angle, Kwanza has a chess of radio. Oh, no, no. 1,400 1, songs. I was always in the studio every day. So na, sometimes you're frustrated. Unaenda kwa madhe, nambia madhe. Kwa nini ngo mazangu? Kwa nini watu wataki kunini? Mamangu kwa nambia, let me tell you something, son. Uh, this and this person, see you ndota kupublish, ama nani ndota kuseti, ama nini. God ndi wataku publish. Time yako ikifika, itafika. Na ile time itafika. Hakuna msi atafanya anything, ama neza afanya anything to block your shine, unaona? So me, I try to tell people, bro, I came from nothing. Mini likuwa na aminia. There's some, these things, basic qualities I told you about life. Discipline, hard working, na ukiwa consistent, yani. Izo zoto ukiwa nazo, na uendele tukufanya ile kitu unafanya. Mungu atakufungulia njia, time yako ikifika. And that's why I said, the difference between me and an upcoming rapper or a musician, hapa hivi ni time. Mungu kusema ni time yako, and then definitely you're going to shine. That's what I can say. Wapi makofi ya uji. Asante sana. Asante sana. To, to summarize what Calligraph has said, ni kitu tumea isema kwa show. Trust in the process. Alafu kitu ya pili ni eh, mtu yote ya na watch kutoka home, especially now that tuna deal na story ya depression sana. <coughs> ni, ini ituwa ji? When you find something, kila mtu wakona something you're good at, you're better at than anyone else. If you find that and stick to that, it's bound to work. Ama ni aji? Imaweza ama ijaweza? Apo sawabasi. Wapi makofi ya uji? Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. That's it for the weekend edition. See you next week. My name is Dr. King Ori.